I am Anvi Saluja and uh, I am from Balbhati Pitampura, Delhi. So uh, RYSI was a great experience. So I learned many topics of science and enjoyed a lot. It's a uh, like amazing experience to be here uh, in the RRI campus, and uh, it is really good to see so many science experience and children learning science. And I like really like being exploring everyone. So. It is a great experience, and also trying uh, into wars or uh, solving the problem. So it was a great experience. Thanks. So uh, my experiment was a simple. Uh, why like we always use a sphere, small bob, for a pendulum. So my experiment was a pendulum with varied shapes and weights. So to explore, does it make any difference of different shapes? Ideally, it should not. Be, uh, but we do it in like uh, air. So uh, like. There is air around. We do it in the presence of air, so there is friction in different shapes. If we try with this uh, shape, uh, so I recorded time for ten oscillations. So I recorded that best is to use a small sphere because it's difficult to record the gra uh, like point of uh, gravity and the center uh, is difficult to record for different shapes and also. It is difficult in different shapes to like record the time, and their friction with air increases their time. So it's best to use a sphere, which we use generally. Is the time taken uh, for oscillation for uh, different objects same or different? It's different. different. It's different. So, so uh, it differs because of the friction with it has with the air. So uh, the objects like sphere have uh, less. The objects with like sphere have like less friction, so they are the best. And like with these, uh, it, they have like more surface area, so they have more friction with air. So uh, it uh, takes a lot of time because they, uh, they become slow while they move. So I recorded time for ten oscillations. So this took more time, and best time was like uh, lowest time was for the sphere. So it's best to use the sphere. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ishtpreet Kaur. I am from. Devi Public School, Patiala. I am studying in class seventh. It was very good experience at Raman Awards. Thank you. So I am Aniketh S. Prasad. So I am right from Bangalore itself. And this Raman Award, according to me, it's actually a great opportunity for all of us to get hands-on on science and just experiment. So yeah, it's it was overall a good experience. And mainly I liked it because it was practical science. All the other exams, you know, like Olympiads and all, I have attended many times, but never I have got this sort of joy or something. There it was just like answering the questions, but here what is it means? We should demonstrate something, experiment, and come out with our own answers. So, I enjoyed it a lot. So this model are you done? This is what I made for the yeah. national finals right now. Thank you. I am uh, K Adira. So. I am from Maharaja Peta. I am studying in Sunbeam International School. So, uh, in Ramnavats, it was very uh, first time when I joined. I didn't you know money. So after I do the experiment, it was very fun. I came to know many new things, like uh, uh, what is Newton's uh, laws, what is Bernoulli's laws. It was very fun doing the experiments, and I enjoyed. Even I am not winning, or I am not. Uh, uh, I'm not winning. It doesn't matter to me. Participation is fun, and the fun is more enjoyable than the winning and non-winning. So it was very fun. So this is my uh, uh, experiment for the finalists coming. So this is the my own genie, my own pH indicator, Genia flower. So thermal uh, thermic solution. This is was in internet, but when this Genia flower is my own. I have searched. Uh, I have searched for only red cabbage. I have used red cabbage, dahila flower, and the uh, hibiscus flower. I have searched all over the internet, but there was no zinnia flowers uh, solu uh, solutions. So uh, in my home, I had zinnia flowers, so I made this solution. pH is basically potential of hydrogen. It is used to find whether the solution is acid or base. So this is all when we add thermic solution in these. It turns this color, and when we add to it, it just turns. You can see here. So, 
chinya flower when we add this solution into lemon it turns pale red when we add it in vinegar it turns pink and when we add it in soda it turns light pink water is neutral so there's no color change observed so when we add it into cooking soda it turns light yellow when we add it to bleach it turns pale green and when we add it to detergent powder it turns dark green so turmeric solution now here now when we add the, into the acids there no color change observed as you can see there is no color change observed and when we add it into water there is no color change observed because the water is neutral and when we add it into cooking soda it turns pale red and when we add it in bleach it turns light red and when we add it in detergent powder it turns dark red so uh, we, we can understand detergent is the strongest base and what is light base here bleach so 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 it is here in the presence of acid turmeric remains yellow in the presence of bases turmeric turns red so i really enjoyed these experiments and last year's experiments also it was very fun uh, for uh, i'm so happy to be in this ramad awards and uh, i have not been to bengaluru this is my first time to being in bengaluru and i have seen many new things in bengaluru and rri also ah uh, in this area this is very big the sasi we have raman has built this it is very big and i i very enjoyed this very much today morning also they did experiments no that was also very fun to do so, thank you i am i am from uh, bengaluru arna ganesh tejasu i the raman awards was a very exciting event i liked the activities so much and it was just fun to try all the variables and i and i found out many amazing ways and i learned new things on how other chemicals work it was a, a totally amazing to actually uh, be part of this event and do all of it uh, speak with the judges and i um uh, like the experience so i i'm from kendriya vidyalaya iac um this is my homemade thermometer so um i i use a glass glass tube some thick foam and a transparent straw so when i warm my hand and put it here uh, you can see the rise of wa uh, water level in the straw it happens Uh, yeah yeah it's colored water so the air molecules inside will move very fast and it will push the water inside the pipe i mean not in uh, inside the tube and then uh, the water will come up the pipe so it can calibrate up to 45 uh, 45 celsius i calibrated it by having a, a hot water jug uh, uh, with hot water and using an electronic thermometer i can also demonstrate how it becomes cold with this cold water uh yeah it's a little bit cold now this is some cold water so when i put it in the cold water the air, mo- air molecules inside will shake less and it will take up less space so the water inside the pipe will go down and it will increase inside uh, this i'll demonstrate now in a few seconds it will go down as we can see it is going down very fast now it is going down below its level see 